Okay, so this morning what you are going to need is a band of some sort. If you don't have one, you can do all the same things without using the band. So at the studio I usually say like a blue band, or some of you may have like a TheraBand at home. Just take it, tie a knot in the end to whatever your tension may be uh, for some fun booty glute work today. Um, let's actually start, we're gonna start standing and we're gonna put the band up above our knees. Happy Friday, everyone. Yeah, I'm feeling it's fucking Friday. Um, so in case you forgot what day it is, it, uh, what day it is today, it's Friday. Okay, so the band's gonna come up above your knees. You're going to sit back into a little squat. All right, so when you're here, I want your knees right above your toes. They're not going to go past your toes. Chest is up. And then you're gonna take a step out with the left, go down a little bit deeper. Step back in, go up to the right, go down a little deeper. All right, it's one of my favorite classic booty warm-ups. All right, to get our glute medius to start to fire. If you did my workout yesterday, my inner thighs are feeling the love, so hopefully yours are too if you did that, that workout. All right, so when you're here, when you step in, still keep tension on. So keep the tension on that band. All right, when you're going side to side, make sure your back is flat, chest is up, right? So you're sending your hips back. All right, belly is pulling in, so you're not letting your core go. All right, so... Around now, you should start to feel a little bit of heat. Right. Keep your toes super parallel. All right, so when you step out, make sure you find that even squat. All right, usually at the studio, Fridays 8.30 is my Pilates cardio class where we do lots of jump board. No jump board today, friends. But I'll still try to get some of the booty burn in. All right. Do four more each side. Four, four, three, two, two, one, one. Now hold that squat. Toes are parallel. Keep your chest up, hips back. Give a little press open with your knees. Now when you press open, don't let your ankles roll, all right? So when you press, anchor your big toes down. Press. So again, feet are super parallel. Make sure you're pressing evenly from each leg, all right? Like my left glute is a little weaker than my right from my knee surgery a few months ago. All right, so you really have to focus to make sure that left side's really pressing. Press. Let's do 10 more, 10. Eight, seven, six, four, three, two, one. Now hold that downward squat. From here, go back an inch, come up an inch. Back an inch, up an inch. It's important that your knees don't shift forward. Right, we're sitting back, back. Feet are super parallel, eyes are up. Belly is lifted. Let's do 10 more little press backs. 10. Keep the knees pressing on the one. 9, 8, 6, 5. Press a little wider. 4, 3, 2, 1. Woo, stand up. All right, shake it up. Then you're going to stand on your left leg. Chest is up, belly's lifted. Right leg's going to lift. Make sure your hips are square. Do a little up, up. All right, so when you press the leg up, feel like you're almost pressing your hips forward. All right, so when you're standing, pressing the leg, don't let, don't just collapse into your back. Belly stays lifted. Standing leg is working hard. All right, let's do 10 more, 10. Eight, seven. Six, three, two, one. Next side, anchor that right leg, left leg comes up, same thing. Press the hips forward, belly up, little up. So keep your posture tall. 
Now make sure you're standing glute, you're working that glute. All right, squeeze your butt. Ten more here, ten. Six, five, three, two, one. All right, slide the band off. We're going to come back to it later on. All right, and then let's walk out to the back edge of our mat. Let's do a little walk out. We're going to squeeze our heels together. Reach our arms up. Let's make sure I'm still in the frame here. All right, we're going to dive forward. So it's that same stretch forward. It's a nice good morning stretch here. Let your head drop. Walk out to a plank. Once you're in that plank, hold it. Chest is lifted. All right, you're going to use your butt. So use the muscles we just worked. Squeeze into your glute medius here. Squeeze the inner thighs. Bend your elbows lower down. Press up, a little good morning cobra, inhale, exhale, Ooh, my back just popped into the breath, I feel good. All right, press up, then shift back, drop your heels down, right, if you want to pedal your heels, if your calves are feeling a little tight today, all right, shoulders are down, all right, walk the hands back to your toes, wrap around your legs, give a little hug, roll up. Interlace your fingers, give a little side stretch. So reach to the right, come up, reach to the left, come up. We're going to reach back. So when you're here, hips press forward, but you're lifting up and out of your low back. Right? So we're not just dumping, you're reaching back. Stretch back. Oh, the sun's coming out. How oh, lovely. Now grow tall, dive forward again. Press your palms down. Tuck your chin to your chest. So when you press the heel of your hands down, if you have to bend your knees, bend your knees to get there. Walk the hands out. Right, hold that plank. Bend the elbows, lower down. Press up, breathe. And then roll back down. Curl the toes under, press up. Hold that plank down. Now when you're here, lift your right leg up. Shift forward on your toes. Back through the heel, switch. Left leg up, forward, back, switch. If you need to modify, just come to your knees. Right leg, forward, back, switch, left. Two more each side. Last one. Forward, back, switch, hips up. Now reach the right leg up. Allow the hips to open, breathe. Head is down, so look towards your armpit. Then bend that knee, step the foot up through the hands, or we're gonna scooch it forward. Okay, let's start with a little hip stretch. So square your hips up. All right, you're on your back toes here. Your chest is lifted, belly is up. Right, so we're not just slopping our abs down on our thigh, you're pulling up. And then come up, hands on that front knee to start, square up, then reach up. So it's important here, make sure you're squeezing your butt. Use your back butt cheek, right, to help you open here, because we have a front butt cheek, right, to help you open through your hip. Now reach up, hold it. See if you can bend your back knee down. Ooh, that knee's tight. And then come up, squeeze straight. Go down. Now, as you go down, don't sink. Reach to the ceiling. Up. Three more. Three. Up. Two. Up. Last one. One. Up. Hold it. Now, hinge forward. Find that long line in the body from your fingers all the way back to your heels. Then take your left arm down, rotate the right arm up. All right, you can either keep that arm up, or if you have the mobility, take your hand onto your low back. Open through your chest, breathe. Exhale. One more breath. Then take that hand down, kick that front foot back up. 
reach and then switch right foot down left leg up reach the leg long point through the toes allow the hip to open right head is down press your palms into the floor bend your knee in stop your foot up through the hands right or wiggle scooch it there all right so when you're here again on your back toes feet are super parallel hand comes up square your hips up belly is lifted crown of your head up to the ceiling right, breathe then reach the arms up engage your butt all right, so the more you engage there, the more it's going to help your hip to open. Bend your knee, lower down, squeeze up. Now as you go down, reach the energy through your fingertips up to the ceiling. Three more. Three. Two. One. Lunge forward. Hold it. Find that long line. Then right arm down, left arm up, rotate. Breathe. Alright, square your hips. Oh, I'm loving the sunlight today. Alright, if you have mobility, a drill. Hand wraps around your low back like you're almost aiming to grab your right hip. Open. Inhale. One more breath. Circle back up and around. Step that front foot back up to the ceiling. Reach along. Whew. Then place the foot down. Find that plank. Breathe. Exhale. Shoulders down. Back long. Squeeze the inner thighs. One more breath. Then walk your toes up to your hands. Once you get there, try to do a little straight leg walk. Then we're going to sit. So bend your knees. Let's see if many will allow today. Oh, we did decent. All right, take your hands under your thighs. Sit up tall. Walk down. Roll back. Reach back. And then exhale. Roll up. Let's just start with two modified roll-ups. Stay modified if you need to. Or head to knees. Inhale up. Sit up. Open your chest. Exhale, walk down, reach back, and then roll up, sit up, round forward, tuck your chin to your chest, All right, so we sometimes forget that our cervical spine, that our neck is part of our entire spine, so chances are if you have tension in your low back, you have tension in your neck or vice versa, so make sure to get that little stretch through your neck. Chin to chest, forward a little closer to your knees. Pull the abs in, inhale up. And then exhale, roll down. All right, if your body will allow, stretch your legs out. Squeeze and stretch, stretch through your fingertips. And then roll up to your toes. Reach, give a little stretch. Flex your feet for a little hamstring love. Up, roll back. Let's do one more here. Reach. Inhale up. Now exhale. Point your toes. Go halfway back. Hold it. Lift the left leg up. Hold. Lower. Pull your abs in. Right leg up. Lower. Two more on each side. Left. Right. Now connect to your low abs. Pull them in to help you lift that leg. So it's not your hip flexor that's working. Those are just an accessory muscle your low abs. Okay, let's do one more set. Since I was chit-chatting, up. Lower the heels, roll down, breathe. Exhale, roll up, sit up tall and straight. This time, go halfway back until your low back touches down. So roll down, low back down this time. Now left leg up, lower. Reach the leg up, pull your belly in to lift, lift, one more, up, up, roll up, up, reach, give a stretch, inhale up, 
Next one, we're going to try both legs up. If you need to modify, bend your knees, all right? Abs in, float both legs up, lower down. The modified is just here, okay? Two more, two, down, last one, down, heels down, roll up, Whew. roll the truth there, reach. Last one, and then we're going to have some glitters and sparkles there. Go back part way. Low back, mid back, float the leg, come for the hundred, inhale. I know I heard the groan, <laughs> exhale. Now, your modification as always, knees to tabletop, head down, arms are pumping, we're creating heat, inhale. Now let's play with the hundred today, left leg up, right leg down, switch, switch, switch. Four more, four. Four, three, three, two, two, one, one. Now anchor that right leg, left leg down. You guys to roll up and walk yourself up if you need it. Stretch. Sit up. Roll back. Let's do a couple bridges here. All right, so for bridging, be parallel. Lift your butt. Arms are anchoring and then roll down. All right, we'll do two more here before we take it into roll over, so our legs go over our head. So again, if roll overs don't work for you, you stick here with bridging, right? Because we're trying to articulate through our spine, open through our low back, and then down. All right, for roll overs, legs up, lift the legs up and over. Ooh. Open, flex your feet. Roll down, flex your feet, pull your abs in, lower to your point of control, squeeze your heels, over, toes towards the mat, flex your feet, roll down, again, squeeze, point, over, open, flex, roll down. And then we reverse it, we open flex, over, squeeze the heels, reach up, stretch your toes up, give your chin space from your chest so you're not crunching it on your neck, roll down, two more, open flex, over, squeeze, up, roll down, last one. Open flex, over, squeeze the heels, reach up, roll down. Tailbone touches, right leg down, left leg up. So when you're here, chest is open, abs are in, tailbone down, circle the leg, go down, wide and up. Your circles are only as big as your core can control them, right? So we're not rolling our sweat self down or on the mat. We're controlling it from here. Now reverse, other way. Five, four. If your hip is clicking, squeeze your butt. It will stop. Two, one. Flex your foot, press down. Reach the leg. Point the toe, kick up. Flex lower, reach up. Eight more, eight, seven, six. So keep that reach, five, four, Two, one, lower the leg, halfway hold. Abs pull in, lift the head up. Climb up your leg for a tree. Walk up, you can modify this tree by just sitting here. All right, breathe in, lift up. Now pull your abs in, forehead to knee. Inhale, exhale, up. Now use your abs to walk down. Keep that energy reaching through your toe when you go back. Down, up, now flex your foot, grab your toes, sit up tall, make sure you're right on your sit bones here, lift, forehead to knee, inhale, up, point the toe, walk down, next one we're going to add a twist, and then up. Right hand on 
on the outside. Flex your foot. So make sure that pinky toe is pointing towards you. In fact, let's grab our pinky toe side of our foot if you can reach your foot. All right, take your leg across. Open your chest. All right, you can modify here. You can always bend that knee. Just take it into a modified twist. Breathe in. Sit up. Look over that back shoulder. Rotate, especially in through that low back. Come back to center, bend the knee, cross the ankle above your knee, go forward, seated pigeon. Whenever my knee clicks, I always get nervous, like so that may have been a good pop or a bad pop. Breathe in, that was a good pop. Whew. Come up, next side, and roll down. Right leg up, now reach it, and then circle across, widen up for five, four. Lead with that inner thigh, three. Reverse, five, four, two, one. Now flex your foot, reach lower, lengthen through your waist, right? This will actually help you start to lengthen your psoas if you learn to reach, and then come up. Press down, pull in, lift, down, pull in, lift, seven more, seven, up, six, five, four, two, one, lower halfway, hold, reach it. So that hip's gonna wanna get friendly with your rib, don't let it sink up, reach it up, lift up, walk up, reach towards your ankle, up. If you wanna find your sit bones, sit on them, then scoop into your abs, come forward, forehead to knee, breathe. Exhale, inhale. Up, walk down. So find that energy reaching through your toe. Go down, abs pull in, climb back up. Flex your foot, grab that pinky toe side of your foot if you can reach. Up, breathe, forehead towards your knee, inhale. And then point the toe, walk down. Next one, we're gonna offer up that twist. Up, left hand on the outside. If you can reach the pinky toe side of your foot, grab it. Leg comes across, anchor that hip down, then twist. Breathe. Right, you can always use that hand as support if need be. Inhale, exhale. Come back to center. Ankle comes above your knee. Reach forward for a stretch. And then up, run like a ball, friends. So hands are gonna wrap as close to your ankles as you can. If you need to modify, hold behind your thighs. All right, we're going to rock back. Rock up, hold. And then again, back. All right, so imagine that ball that we used yesterday between our calf and our hamstrings. All right, if you have your ball nearby, Feel free to grab it. Right, if you didn't clean up your workout area from yesterday. Up. One more here. Back. Up. Now let's squeeze in a little tighter. See if you can make the letter X in front of your legs. So my left hand is going over to my right ankle, vice versa. Forehead to knees. Let's see what happens. The worst that happens is it's a hot mess, right? If it's a hot mess, we'll embrace it. Up. I'm actually really impressed I made that one. <laughs> Inhale back. Exhale up. Now switch the X. Inhale back. Exhale up. Ooh. One more. Back. Up. Hold. Good. Feet to tabletop. Walk the hands down your thighs. Just tap your low back down. And then use your abs. Climb back up. You can modify these by placing your feet to the floor. Climb down. Climb up. Next one, we stay there. Climb down. Right knee in. Left leg out. Give it a squeeze. Now reach that leg long. It's not a limp noodle leg. It's a strong long leg. Work from your butt. Switch. 
switch. If you have a hard time accessing your glutes, press through your heel. Alright, the last one is my, that's what my left leg needs in order to activate in through my glute. And once I have it, then I can start to reach through my toe. If not, I sometimes just start to overfire in through my quad. Switch. Switch. Two more. Two. Two. One. One. Now both knees in. Reach to the bottom of your feet. Forehead to knees. Give a squeeze. We're in a tight little ball. Inhale. Then let go of your feet. Reach arms up. Legs up. Now you'll notice I didn't dump back. I didn't rest. Stay up. Circle. In. Inhale. Reach. Exhale. Reach for those heels. Forehead to knee. Reach. In. Inhale. Exhale. Five more. Five. In. Four. Three. Keep those shoulders up. Two. It's a reminder for myself. Last one. Reach. Right leg up. Grab it. Give a hold. Now, press your leg into your hand. Create some self-tension to help you lift your upper back up. So instead of just collapsing back, use that leg to help you lift. Now, keep that lift. Switch legs. Hold. Reach energy up through your other, through your right leg. Reach. Hold. Reach. Hold. Reach. Reach. Keep the shoulders up. Now, if you can keep those shoulders up, now give a pull. Switch. So don't let that pull push you down. Right? You're working and activating right from your center. Right? Right from your powerhouse. Two more. Two. Two. One. One. Legs up. Hands behind your head. Lower to your point of control. Up. Inhale. Exhale. You can modify by sitting on your hands. Okay? If you're there, chest is open. Inhale. Five more. Five. Up. Four. Three. Two. Go down and hold it, friends. Bend the right knee in. Twist towards it. Twist. 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 Keep the shoulders up. Four. Four. Three. Two. Two. One. One. Rock up. Whew. Open your feet mat distance. Sit up tall. Hands behind you. Lift your chest. Inhale, look right, center, left, center, reach forward, breathe in. On your exhale, scoop into your tummy, reach. All right, so it's that letter U, squeeze your butt, lift, roll back up, inhale, exhale, engage your butt, then reach up and over, stretch, and then up. Now this time, keep your arms in line with your ears. Stretch up, circle the arms back. Three, up, around. Two, one, up, reach. And then up, now reverse, back. Up, around, three, back. Two, back. Pause once those arms are up. Scoop in, dive forward. Inhale up, open like rocker. So we're going to reach through. We're going to transition differently today. Soles of your feet together. Grab your ankles, or if you need to, behind your knees. Sit back behind your tailbone. Find that scoop. Then lift. Extend. Now rock. Back. Up. Now when you're here, hands are in front of your ankles if you're holding your ankles. It's not behind. It's in front. Back. All of a sudden, your abs have to work a little bit more. Right? All those muscles of your powerhouse to hold that stability. Up. One more. Up. Hold. Squeeze your legs. Open. Squeeze. If your hands are behind your knees, you can just modify here. Open. One more. Squeeze. Open. Now see if you can let go. Do it without holding on. Squeeze. Open. Two more. Two. Last one. Squeeze. Now reach your arms up. Use your abs. Lower the legs. Lift up tall. Just dive forward for a stretch. All right. And then come up. All right. Grab. Actually, let's do a couple of cobras. Flip on our tummy. Then we're going to grab our boogie. All right. So hands right under your shoulders. 
a little back extension work after all the flexion. And then, so when you're here, grasshopper arms, elbows in, neck is long, belly is up. Breathe in, inhale, exhale. Now when you're here, reach energy long through your toes, anchor your feet, up. One more. Um, and then roll back. Good. Then come up. Sit back. Give a little child's pose. All right. Now you're going to put the band up above your knees. So this is one of my favorite side line series. All right. You can do the same thing without the band. Trust me. You'll feel the love. All right, so shoulders, hips on the back edge. All right, knees come up in line with your hips. Hips are stacked. Shoulders are stacked. All right, so you want to create that little mouse hole space between your side and your mat. So we're not just collapsing, we're reaching through our sides. All right, and then we're going to lift the top leg up. Pull the knee in. Press the leg out. Give a little pull in. Give a little press to start. All right, so when that knee comes in, keep that leg parallel. All right, so we don't want that heel higher. We want everything in the same plane. Press. Five more here. Five. Press. Four. Three. Two. One. Press. Now, stack your knees. Now lift just that top knee and ankle up. Lower. All right, same thing here. Your heel will want to lead it. Don't let it. So imagine I tie a band uh, around your ankles as well. Everything moves up together. Everything goes down together. Four more. Four. Three. Two. One. Now, clamshells with heels in the air. Heels touch, not your toes. Lift the top knee. Lower. Same thing. Hips are stacked. So it's not the hips rolling back that's opening the knee. It's your glute here that's working that knee. Or that's, it's your glute that's mobilizing the knee up. Five more, five, four, three, two, one. Same thing, now heels down, my favorite. Up, lower, up. So again, hips are stacked. Eight more here, eight, seven, six, Four, three, two, one. Now draw the knees back a smidge. Stretch that leg out. Press back. Reach the leg. Reach your waist. Press back until you feel your booty engage. Then press into it. Now, if you have a hard time connecting to your hamstring and glute, flex your foot. All right? If not, I don't care what your foot does. All right? If you want to point, point. Six more, six. Five. Three, two, hold it back there. A little up. Ten, nine, six, five. Keep the leg pressing back. Four, three, two, hold it. One little circle. Five, four, whoo, my booty's shaking. Three, two, one, reverse five. Four, three, two, one. Now, last one here. Bend the knee in. Stack your knees and hips. Big circle with the knee. Circle five. Ooh, it is windy up. Four, three, two, one. Reverse that circle. Five, four, two, one. All right, come up. Ooh, I felt the love. Okay, next side. All right, shoulders, hips on the back edge. Stack everything up. Knees up. Waist is long, lift the top knee, and then pull in, press. Get that length through your waist. In, press. Eight more, eight, seven, six, five, four. So make sure that knee stays higher than your heel. One, now stack. And then lift just that top knee up, and then lower. Now remember, your knee leads the movement, not your heel. Eight, 
seven, six, four, three, two, one. Lift the heels, my bad. My right glute's still on fire. All right, that's good. Okay, heels together. Lift the top knee, lower, waist is long, up. I can tell I haven't done these in a week. Eight more, eight. All right, well, with you all, I'm usually doing it at least in class. Solid three days a week. Five, four, three, two, one. Now, same thing, heels down, waist long. Lift the top knee lower. Don't let your toes touch, because that bottom foot wants to be a helper. Tell it no thank you. Six more, six. Four, three, two, one. Now, stretch the legs out. Reach the leg up. Flex your foot if you need that extra assistance. I do since it's my weaker side. Reach the leg. Press back. You should feel your booty engage. Then press back into it. Ten. Nine. So it's a press from your muscles. We're not just moving our bone structure. Right? It's not our hip. It's our butt that's pulling back. Six more. Six. Five. Three. Two. Hold it back there. Now up 10. Find that reach. 9, 8, 7, 6. Imagine like you're balancing your water bottle right here. Don't spill it. 3, 2. Hold it. 1. Little circle. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Reverse it. 5, 3, 2, 1. Now last one. Pull the knees in. Stack your knees, stack your hips, big circle with the knee. Five each direction, we get to take this off. Four, three, two, one. Reverse. Five, four, three, two, one. All right, come all the way up. Slide it off. All right, we're not doing it, we're gonna flip to our tummy. Okay, so we're gonna be on our tummy, hand over hand, forehead on our hands. All right, legs are out, squeeze your heels. Then you're gonna bend your knees, so keep your heels squeezed. Lift your knees up, so you should feel it right in the crease, right? Right up where your hamstrings meet your glutes. Press the legs out. Bend, now squeeze. Eight more, eight, seven, six, five, <clears throat> four, Three, two more breaths, two, one. Now hold it here, little up, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four. Remember, it's your butt that's working, we're not dumping in our low back. Low back is long, two, one. Now stretch out, open, squeeze, ten, nine, eight. Stretch your arms up long in front of you, seven, six, Four, three, upper inner thigh squeeze, two, hold it. Now, right arm, left leg lifts a little higher, switch, switch. Now again, low back is growing longer, ribs stay pulled up. All right, just reach through your fingers and toes. Up, up, up. Four, three, two, one, one. Hands under. Curl the toes under, press up. Shift back to a down dog. Breathe. We're gonna get a little side plank love here. All right, come onto your knees if you need to modify. Shift forward, hold that plank. Left arm down, right arm up, reach. Open your chest. Hand down, next side, up, open. And then hand down, up. Now this time, stack your feet if you're able. Reach the arm over. Chest is up. And then see if you can lift that top leg. Lift your hip up. Breathe. And then lower. Next side, up. If you're able, stack your feet. Chest up. Lift. Lower. Come back, find your breath. Next one, we get a little twist. Up, 
Dive. Head down, butt up. Up. Two more. Two. Last one. One. Up. Switch. Next arm up. Reach. Dive. So it's like a down dog. Look under your armpit. Up. Booty to the ceiling. Whew. I almost lost on that one. Last one. Dive. And then up. Hand down. Chest forward. Walk your feet up to your hands. So practice that straight leg walk. Okay. Once your feet get to your hands, bend your knees. Sit your butt as close to your heels as you can. Have a seat. Sit up. Left leg up. Roll back. I know we didn't do teasers yesterday, so we have to do them today. Up. Two more. Two. Up. Now you can always stick with these pre-teasers. You can always use your hands under your legs. Right? You can always just come up part way. Right? Like what we do for the hundred. Right leg up. Hold. Left leg down. Roll back. Roll up. One more. Down. Up. Now left leg up. Hold. Keep those legs still. Go down. Roll up. Now if you use your butt, it will help you. Right? The more muscles of our powerhouse we can pull into this work, actually the lighter your body will start to feel. Right? So the more you do it, of course the stronger you become. As with anything. Up. Whew. Hold. Hands under your knees. Lift up. Open your legs at distance. Give a little rock. Give a little up. Two more. Two. Up. Last one. Up, hold, squeeze the legs, let go, reach. Everything together. Arms up. Unfold for five. Four. Three. Low back touches. Two. One. Fold back up. Whew. Go down five. Four. Three. Two. One. Last one. Up. Ooh. Arms up, go down five, four, three, two, one. Bend your knees. Feet are parallel, lift up as you would to a bridge. Breathe. And then roll down. All right, so we're going to do a little back extension here. I love back extension work. All right, if it doesn't work for you, just go into a high bridge where you lift your hips. You can always use your hands to support. All right, if you want to go into like a half wheel, hands come behind your shoulders, elbows in. Scoot your feet in a little closer. Up, press up. You can start by resting the top of your head down. You can always stay here, there's no pressure in your neck. And then as you're able, extend up, inhale. Wherever you are, two breaths. Last one. Tuck your chin to your chest. Lower down. All the way down. Give your knees a hug. Just rock the bottom side to side. Come all the way up. Let's open wide for a little saw. Open. Take your legs for this saw as wide as you feel comfortable. Chest is up. Twist to the right. Look over that back shoulder. Flex your feet. Once you have your twist, then reach towards that toe. And then keep your bottom hand on the mat for today. Open your chest. And then up. Twist. Lift. Then reach. Keep that bottom hand on the mat. Just keep walking the hands in that position to each other. And then up, twist, then reach. Now as you reach right, anchor that left hip down. Inhale up, twist, reach. And then come 
up. Walk the hands forward. Go as far forward as you feel you can. If you're able to, press your hands against your feet. So you want your knees to be facing straight up. We don't want everything to curl in, we want it open. Right, so if you have to feel like you're pulling the underside of your hamstrings forward, do so. Right. And then reach. Breathe in, head down. Ooh, come all the way up, draw your legs together. Give them a little wiggle. Good, and then we are done today, friends. Um, stay tuned later on today, we're gonna post, uh, we'll have classes for you. This weekend, Michelle W is teaching. And then all next week, we'll have a class. We're gonna set up a little schedule, post to our Instagram account, um, of course, to the Bud Be Share to Facebook. If you have any questions, just message us. All right, stay safe, everyone. Wait, I still have to get up and then turn it off. All right, love you all, friends. Bye.